WKBN 27 First News starts now with breaking news. Hazmat crews are still working right now trying to clean up a crash and a large paint spill on Interstate 76. It's happening right now in the eastbound lanes of I-76 about a half mile past the Alliance exit. 27 First News reporter Molly Reed is live there right now. Molly, what can you tell us? Yeah, good morning, Dan and Chelsea. As you can see, the road is still shut down. If you can see behind me on those eastbound lanes and because it is a hazmat scene, it is too dangerous for us to be up close to it. So rather we are where they are directing traffic. Now this is uh, route 225 and I believe that they are redirecting traffic to go east then on what will become Mahoning Avenue to head more into Mahoning County. Now again, because it is a hazmat scene, it's too dangerous for us to get there right now, but we were there earlier and we'll go ahead and show you some video of what this looked like that caused this entire thing. Now, Ohio State Highway Patrol says around 10 p.m., a FedEx truck was attempting to change lanes. It hit a Chevy Impala, which is a small sedan, in the other lane, causing one of the truck's trailers to overturn. Now, inside that trailer was about 55 gallons of paint causing the spill and hazmat having to respond. We do know a 29-year-old female from Gerard was driving the Impala. She was taken to Saney's with minor injuries. The driver of the semi was cited for improper lane change. Now, due to the overturning of the trailer's chemicals, they were released. The cleanup crew is on scene. They were hoping that they were going to be able to open the left lane about a couple hours ago, but that cleanup is taking much longer than they expected. So if you are heading this direction, again, this is heading into Mahoning County. We're in Portage County right now. If you're heading into Mahoning County, expect a much uh, larger and longer commute into that area as they are still have both lanes shut down. Now, we will stay here on the scene to work to see if they have any plans to open those lanes, at least one of the lanes anytime soon. We'll bring you that update in about 30 minutes. But for now, on Route 225, Molly Reed, WKBN 27 First News this morning.